Hey everybody, how's it going? John here from IncomeMesh.com. I just came back from my little four-year-old's VPK graduation. She's going into kindergarten next year. She's going to be a big girl. And it got me thinking, is it time for you to upgrade and graduate from your old at gmail.com email address and really take hold of your new brand, your new domain name? If you're blogging on WordPress, but you're still sending out emails to your leads or just to your audience with your at gmail.com email address, it's time for you to graduate as well. And in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly step by step using Bluehost, the uh, host that I recommend, uh, how to set up your professional email address using your own domain name. I will also go ahead and show you how to integrate that in with Outlook, Microsoft Outlook, if you're using that for your Windows-based computer. I think they have a Mac version as well. I'll show you how to set that up so you can check all your emails, send your emails, look way more professional, and also increase your productivity at the same time. Okay, let's go ahead and dive in and get graduated with our new website here. So here I am at bluehost.com, and if you're using a different web host and you've struggled to get this accomplished in the past, you can head over to incomemesh.com slash bluehost. Let's just go ahead and go there real quick. If you go to incomemesh.com slash bluehost, that is my affiliate link. And you will be welcomed by my beautiful wife and daughter. She was our new graduate here today. Um, and you'll be able to sign up for $2.95 per month for uh, your websites and your email hosting. It's a very, very good deal. Go ahead and check that out. But assuming you're here in Bluehost, what you want to do to set up your email address is head down to email and office. And this is assuming that you already have set up your own domain name. So if you're, if you have a blog and you've written a few blog posts and you have that domain name, this is what we're going to do. We're going to create an email address that you'll be able to send from your name or hello or one of those types of, uh, you know, usernames at your domain name.com. And I'll link in the description a full blog post that walks through this step-by-step -step as well. Okay, so now you're here in your email and office, and yours will obviously look different than mine, but this will have the list of all the domain names you have in your possession at the time. And you'll be able to manage or upgrade email. You don't need to upgrade. Let me show you exactly what we're going to do here. Um, what we're going to do is click on Manage, and then it will take you over to this Email Accounts page here. And this page is going to show you all of your email addresses that you've currently set up for your own website, but you'll also be able to create new ones here. So if we look over here on the right hand side, you'll see a create button. So we'll go ahead and click that create button, and then you'll be able to select which domain name you want that email to be created for. So for example, my um, you know root domain for this account is jwhitford.com, but let's say I want to create a website for, or an email address for one of my fun websites called homeofbacon.com. So I'll go here to homeofbacon.com and I will call this support at homeofbacon.com. It's as easy as that. I'll enter in a password. Don't take my password, guys. And make sure you know what that password is because you'll be using it later in the tutorial. All right, and then storage space. I have unlimited space here with my Bluehost account, but you can decide to partition and maybe say you want to give one gigabyte or 500 megabytes. I'll leave it here as a default, 500 megabytes. But just know that unlike some other services where you have infinite space, your hosting plan may be different. So just make sure that you give yourself enough space for your email. All right, and then I'll go ahead and I'll leave this checked on where it says send a welcome email with instructions to set up a mail client. And I'll go ahead and click create right here. Okay, and then a few things are going to pop up here. And now we have our new support at homeofbacon.com website or email address created. So there's a couple things you can do here. You could be done right now and you have this created. Let me just find it here in the list. There we go. So here is support at home of bacon. So if you wanted to check your email, you can just click this button here that says check email. This is not the way I recommend doing it, but this is the easiest way for everyone to, to get there. And then you have these three different options, squirrel mail, round cube, hoard. I don't use any of them. I can't really recommend any of them, but they all work for basic checking and receiving of email. So you can see here, I have my configuration set up and this was the email that was sent to me uh, when the email was uh, created on Bluehost. What I'm gonna show you next though, is the best way to do it, which is if you want to connect additional devices. So if you wanna have your email checked from your iPhone or from your, um, your Outlook computer, like I'll show you here, you can click on connect devices. And as we scroll down here, you'll see all these different things, all these different programs that your email can work with. So here, if you don't have Outlook, you can use Mail for Windows 10, for example. Uh, Outlook, Live Mail, 
um, iOS mail all, for iPhone, all that stuff. So we're good to go here. And as you can see, there's different protocols. You don't need to know any of this, just follow along here. But what we see here is that mail and Outlook are auto discovery. So what that means is we're gonna have a really easy time of setting this up. Let me go ahead and switch over now to my Outlook client. So as we see here, I'm in Outlook. Let me make this smaller for the window. Alrighty, so when you're ready to bring this email address in here, you can see I have several email addresses that are tying in and the vast majority of these are hosted on Bluehost mail servers. So what we're gonna do is go to file, account settings, and click on account settings. And here you can see all the different email addresses that have been created. We're gonna go ahead and hit click new right here. And then you can type in that new email address that we just created. So I'll do support at homeofbacon.com. And I'll just go ahead and click connect. It's gonna think for a little bit here. And it might give you an issue and we'll work around that in just a second. Okay, so it says something went wrong and that's okay. If you notice, we just put in our email address. We never put our password in. So what we're gonna do here is go to change account settings. And when we click that, you'll have a couple different options to set it up. And we want to make this an IMAP email. So we'll click on the IMAP email and then it'll ask us to put our password in. So I told you to write it down or remember it. So I'll put the password in that I set up on Bluehost and I'll click connect. And now, boom, account successfully added, and it'll offer you to do more. You can also set up Outlook Mobile on your phone as well, but I'll skip that for now. For this email address, I'm fine having it just on my computer. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and click close, and let me go and find that email address here. So we've got support at homeofbacon.com, and you can see quickly that we've received that email from, uh, from Bluehost with our configuration settings, and we can also send a new email from support at home of bacon. Okay, so super, super simple. Uh, creating that email address and linking it up to your computer can take five minutes at that when you're really just clicking through it. You can make as many as you want for different purposes. So if you want your company or your brand to seem bigger, you can have community support at homeofbacon.com and affiliates at homeofbacon.com and they can all email to you, but that can help you kind of keep your things organized and straightforward. It can also help your customers at knowing where they need to go for their specific question. If this was helpful, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit, give me a like and leave me a comment on what you liked about this. If you use uh, you know G Suite for your email hosting, that's totally fine as well. This is an option that gets you up and started with your existing hosting account. And if you don't need some of the features of G Suite, this is a good way to go as well. So I'm John from IncomeMash.com. I'll see you guys in the next video and thank you for watching.